quarters rationed, that was something to celebrate. You're looking at the largest hovercraft in the world, SRN-3, built by Westland Aircraft from the Ministry of Aviation. It's just been handed over to the Royal Navy to introduce the craft to the armed forces. Vice Admiral Sir Richard Smeaton, Flag Officer, Naval Air Command, accepted her on their behalf. Weighing nearly 40 tonnes and powered by four turbine engines, she has auxiliary outboard propellers for low-speed working. Leading a demonstration after the handing over at Leon Solent, an earlier design, SRN-1. And this is N-5. Hovercraft have a lot of military advantages over other amphibians. For instance, they're much faster over the water. And here's the N-3 again, heaviest and most powerful hovercraft yet built. A beam of 30 feet, a length of over 70, and a top speed of around 90 miles an hour. They use an all-round skirt to contain the cushion of air. In her present form, she's not fitted out for active service, rather she's intended as a mobile test bed to introduce the forces to the versatility of hovercraft. The Navy always has an eye for anything in skirts, but she really is an armful.